What's going on, y'all? This is Boxing Wave here to speak on Gennady Golovkin Triple G against Daniel Gill coming up next Saturday. As a, it's a pretty good card. I know Mike Perez and um, Mike Perez and Brian Jennings is also fighting on that card. All right, here in New York at Madison Square Garden. Now the fight itself, Daniel Gill is a good fighter. All right, I think Daniel Gill is the best opponent. For Golovkin up to this point I think he's the best fighter up to this point you know I, uh, I think I, he's a top five middleweight you know he's a solid boxer all around he's solid but there's nothing really great about Daniel Gill that is going to put him over the top to possibly beating Golovkin uh, I, even though I think he's the best fighter Golovkin has faced I don't think he's the best matchup Golovkin has faced. I think Curtis Stevens was the best matchup because at least with Curtis Stevens there was a chance that he would win because he had a puncher's chance because of that left hook of his, you know. He did, he's he's shown that he can be a, a one punch knockout fighter. But and he showed good signs in that fight. He showed signs where uh, you know, he had a warrior's mentality and you know he uh, he backed Golovkin up a few times in those middle rounds, but other than that, Golovkin did, did, just dominated the fight. You know, Stevens really never had a chance to win, except if he would have knocked out Golovkin. And Golovkin has shown in that fight that he has a good chin. Daniel Gill is a good fighter, uh, but he's not great at anything. It's nothing that he brings that he he has solid power. He has solid speed. He has solid footwork. He has solid boxing ability. But there's nothing that really stands out about him. And I believe that in order to beat Golovkin, you got to have to be a very special fighter. You got to have to be an elite boxer. Or you got to have a, a, a lot of power, uh, punching power. You know, it's just, it's going to take a special fighter to beat Golovkin. You know, it's going to take an Andre Ward. To possibly see Golovkin's first loss, you know, even if Golovkin goes up and fight Carl Froch, I'm not really sure you even if Carl Froch could be him. You know, this guy has tremendous power. Uh, he's great at cutting off the ring. Doesn't matter how good your footwork is, and we're gonna see that in this fight because Gil has pretty solid footwork, and it's not gonna be enough because Golovkin is is great. He's the master at cutting off the ring. And I just don't see him getting away. Golovkin is going to walk him down. I think early in the early rounds, it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be competitive in the beginning because Danny Gill comes to fight. He's always given a good fight. He's beaten several good, worthy opponents. All right, he beat Felix Sturm. He beat Anthony Mundine in their rematch. Uh, he lost to Darren Barker, but he gave Darren Barker a good fight. I think if he was able to put Darren, if he had the power to put Darren Barker away permanently, he would have won the fight. But Darren Bar Barker outboxed him. I thought Darren Barker timed him better, hit him with the more effective, the clear, the more clean, effective shots. You know, Gil has shown that he could have the boxing ability and staying on the outside and using his footwork. But there's times where Gil kind of comes, just walks forward. And he likes to trade and you know he puts on a good fight he definitely is a good fighter and I think the be at, at best what we might see is a first fighter in a long time to go 12 rounds with Golovkin okay I don't think Daniel Gill is going to win the fight but he is a tough fighter he's pretty durable and I think he might be the first fighter in a long time that could go 12 rounds with Golovkin but in my opinion, I think the mid rounds, things will change after the four, fifth rounds. And I think those body shots from Golovkin is going to catch up to him. Gil's a good fighter defensively, but he's not good enough to a point where, you know, his defense is going to keep him from, you know, avoid, avoiding uh, Golovkin shots. And I think it's going to catch up to him. His body shots is it's going to catch up to him. It's going to slow him down. And there's going to be points where he's going to be back into the ropes. You know, with his guard up and he's trying to survive. He's going to go into survival mode. I say Golovkin is going to stop him in the 10th round, 10th, maybe 11th round. 
Uh, it's going to be late in the fight. I'll be very surprised if Gil, uh, if Golovkin is able to stop Gil early. But if anyone's going to go 12 rounds with Golovkin and survive, it will be Daniel Gil. But I say Golovkin by 10th or 11th round stoppage. Uh, I think Gil is going to go down before that, but uh, I think he's going to you know, shake it off and keep fighting. He's a pretty tough fighter. So um, that's my prediction on the fight. I say Golovkin by late stoppage. And Gil is is the best fighter that he's fought. So he it should be entertaining in the first half. But uh, that's my thoughts. Uh, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think. Who is going to win is in the comments. So hit me on my Twitter. Peace.